the world of naked motorcycles, there are two distinct groups of bikes. At the top end, we have the stripped-down sports bikes, pushing out otherworldly power figures and torque. They're more track-focused and they have aggressive riding dynamics. At the other end of the spectrum, we have more traditional naked machines. These bikes tend to feature lower power outputs, less exotic suspension and brakes, and a more real-world, on-real-roads approach. Two bikes that are at the top of that list as firm favourites in the class are the Honda CB1000R and the newly updated Suzuki GSX-S1000. We've been lucky enough to ride both of these updated models already in 2021. If you could take a moment to give this video a like and tap the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of Visordown's latest videos. And don't forget to drop a comment in the section below telling us which bike you think is the best naked that you can buy. While both bikes look wildly different, they actually have quite a lot in common, and that's that they both feature engines that have previously been found in top flight sports bikes. The Honda's power plant comes from the earlier generation CBR1000RR, while the GSXS is fitted with the engine that once graced the frame of the all-conquering K5 GSXR1000. Both are slightly detuned, with the Honda producing 143 bhp and the GSXS 149. In truth, though, on real roads, you really won't spot the missing ponies, thanks to closely placed gears and engines that are tuned to deliver thumping mid range torque. In truth, the engines of these two bikes are like chalk and cheese, with the CBR1000R still retaining some of that screaming characteristic of the Fireblade, while the GSX is more of a user friendly machine. You're never going to really feel the differences in power between these two bikes on the road, so choosing between the two will come down to preference. If you want a machine that will be forgiving with gear changes and allow you to ride a wave of torque out of the corners, the Suzuki is the bike for you. If you're looking for a more engaging machine that's got more than just a dollop of sports bike dynamics, the Honda is hard to beat. The chassis of the Suzuki features fully adjustable KYB forks and Brembo calipers, which do a great job of keeping the GSXS feeling calm and composed. It does though lack some of that plush feeling you get from the CBR1000R, which is blessed with incredible front end feel and control. Of the two bikes, the CB1000R is the best handling of the two, and that's by some margin. Although credit where credit's due, the GSXS is greater than the sum of its price tag. It punches well above its weight for a bike that costs a shade over £10,000. But if you were to back-to-back -back test this bike against the more sophisticated CB1000R, you'd appreciate the feel, feedback and grip that the Honda brings to the party. I always say that styling is subjective, and for that reason I try to steer clear from comparing bikes on this feature. Although I can't talk about the CB1000R without mentioning how bloody good it looks in the flesh. We had the black edition of the Naked on test earlier this year, and it really is a stunning thing to behold. It's the kind of bike that you actually can't walk away from without taking one last glance over your shoulder to look at it. And that's just at a distance. If you opt for the black edition as we did, the level of detailing on the engine, the rear set hangers and the headstock is just absolutely stunning. And then there's the GSXS, less classy in its styling, but no less eye-catching. The redesign for 2021 has really divided opinion. After the launch of the bike, I came away with the impression that it definitely looks better in the flesh. The front end isn't as extreme as I thought it was going to be, and the more angular styling is so much better than the previous generation. It just doesn't quite fire you up in the same way that the classy looking Honda does. To sum it up, you could roll off the circuit after a track day on the Honda, jump into your black tyre tyre and cruise up to a fancy dinner party. And really nobody would bat an eyelid. The same can't be said for the Suzuki though. Given that the GSX-S1000 is one of the best value 1000cc nakeds on the planet, its cut price 10k price tag will likely be the big draw for most buyers. 
The thing is, the Honda in base trim is only around 1,600 quid more, and the uber cool black edition, another 400 quid on top of that, at just under 13,000 pounds. I have a feeling that if you were to choose the Honda over the Suzuki, you'd quickly appreciate the extra ability, potency, and style of the new machine.